show you how to use Intro.js inside of uh, React.js. So it gives you sort of like an onboarding um, tutorial sort of for your users to help them understand a feature that might be too complex, maybe. Yeah, I'm just using um, WebStorm right now to create this project. Oh man, okay. All right, so I'll just name it uh, Intro JS, and so I'm I'm assuming sorry, I'm assuming you already know how to create a React app. You can use this command in the terminal plus the name. Like right, it'll be Intro JS, but since this will do it for me, just by the location, it'll get the name from this. So I'll just create. So if you usually use Visual Studio or something, um, maybe I should have used that because most people use it. But I love WebStorm, <laughs> so I love anything IntelliJ really. So I'll skip through this actual creation because <laughs> you know it takes a while. So. All right, so our um. React app has been created, so I'll just go ahead and start it up real quick. npm start in the terminal. Just to show you what it looks like. I mean, really have to shut it down. Could open a new terminal, but I'll just shut it down and restart it. So this is the basic thing it gives you. So we're going to strip this out uh, real quick. I'm just gonna make a basic um or should I? Hey, we could use this actually. Cause I don't wanna get too complicated with the UI, I just wanna show you how it actually works, so yeah, we could just do that. Okay. Let me think. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do it. So first, we need to install the packages. I'll leave the links in the description. So first, npm install intro.js.rack. Well, I guess really you should install intro.js first. Which Let me see. That's where it just took me to. Anyways, it's npm install intro JS. I guess if you're using npm. <laughs> So we need that, and then we also need, okay, um, I'm right here, <laughs> okay, oh no, I just went here, right, okay, yeah, okay, so then we'll install npm install, we'll do npm install intro js.react, or js-react. And then we need to import um, the definitions. So, well, we should do it at I don't know what you think. I think it really just to be safe. We should probably just do it here. In case you change this up or something, I don't know. You don't use the app part. <laughs> it's usually everybody does. But anyways, um, unless you change the name or something, I don't know. So next, 
we'll, we can get started with the actual coding. All right, so really we can just look at the example they have, which is the Evon code box. It'll give you an idea of what it'll look like too. Stuff this low. So see, it kind of gives you a little tutorial you can give your users. And so really we'll just copy this state um, right here. Which this is an app or a, a class component. Yeah, should we leave it in here? Let's just make a new component. Yeah. So. Um, test intro. And I can't type. All right, so I have a little plugin for snippets to create a class component. So we'll do, um, do we copy the, yeah. So we'll use the state. Which we put in the constructor actually. So I'll just format this. Oh, it's already format. Okay. And then next, which is given this. Oh, must have thrown, thrown another thing on there. So, anyways, we'll go back to, so we need to import, well, yeah, I'll just show you, because it might not do it for you on your IDE. That's what it is. Okay. Format that. Okay. So I'll go ahead and import this real quick. Really don't need the hint. I will not use that. So. And then it's just these steps right here. And I'll show you how it works here in a minute. So, and we'll just copy their little um, steps enabled initial step. Okay. So we really need these toggle steps when on exit. So we'll throw this right here. All right, and then copy. Them. So, and then this will just be this dot state. Which I guess you really didn't have to do it like this, but oh well. Um, it will make a button on click, and we'll just do toggle steps. Um, start tutorial, yes, or onboarding, whatever. So right here, you would use. Um, you can either put classes or. Um, IDs. So I'll make. Yeah, we can just. I'll make these all IDs just to give you an example. I'll make one ID, one class. And we don't want hints enabled. 
So I want ID one class, so I'll make this the second one, so it'll be the class, this action button. Which was world right in there. I'll just take the click off of this. Login, let's act like this is the login page. And so we'll make the ID hello, right? You can name it <laughs> whatever you want based on what it actually is. So and then we'll do click on this to view the tutorial again. You can take this out, we'll just leave it. Is it plus? Yeah, anyways. We'll actually Yeah, so I'll take all this extra stuff out. And we'll go ahead and import the um, test intro. Let's run this real quick. Oh, okay, <laughs> I see. It started already because of how Rathon clicked. But anyways, so let's um, uh, so see the first step is click on this to log in. Next, to start tutorial to view this tutorial again. So I'll just show you when you press it, it starts. So the reason it starts automatically is okay. So actually why it's starting is because steps enabled is true right there. So now, now wait till the button press. But to make it start automatically is there's steps enabled. So that was doing that. I thought I wrote this wrong, but <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do it on accident, but so yeah, that's how to write. Um, that's how to use IntroJS in your React app. So if you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe. Thank you.